The Rescue Party by Nick Butterworth What a perfect day for doing nothing, said Percy the park keeper. Percy was having a day off. He and some of his animal friends had brought a picnic to one of their favourite places in the park. Percy took off his cap and made himself a sun hat by tying knots in the corners of his handkerchief. Then he propped himself against an old tree stump and opened his book. The animals settled themselves around Percy and waited for tea. It was warm in the sunshine and soon everyone began to doze. Suddenly they were disturbed by the sound of laughter. Percy looked up. Three young rabbits, two brothers and their little sister, were playing a leaping game in the long grass. When they saw Percy, the rabbits waved. Hello, Percy. We're pretending to be hares. Percy chuckled and waved back as the rabbits went leaping away. The three rabbits were having a wonderful time. I can jump the longest, said one. I can run the fastest, said his brother. I can jump the highest, said the smallest rabbit, and she jumped high into the air. Whee! But as the little rabbit landed, to her brother's surprise, she completely disappeared. She had crashed right through the rotten cover of an old well. The two brothers stared at the hole in the ground. Then they began to wail. Help! Help! The ground has eaten our sister! Help! Somebody help! Somebody, of course, meant Percy. The two rabbits ran straight to him and told him what had happened. The other animals looked worried as Percy listened and sighed. Well, there's no water in that well, he said, but it's very deep. He pulled on his cap and jumped to his feet. We'll need a rope, he said. Come on. Percy raced away with the animals following behind him. Before long, he was leading them back again towards the old well. Over his shoulder, Percy carried a long rope. Percy cleared away the rotten wood that had covered the well and peered into the dark hole. He couldn't see the little rabbit. She was perched on a rock that had wedged itself halfway down the well. Hello, called Percy. Can you hear me? A rather cross little voice answered. I bumped my head. Are you all right? asked Percy. I bumped my head, answered the cross voice again. Hmm, said Percy. I think she's all right. We're sending down a rope, called Percy. Tie it nice and tight and we'll pull you up. Percy lowered the rope into the well. The little rabbit wasn't quite sure what to do, so she tied it tightly to the lock that she was sitting on. Now, heave ho, said Percy. Percy pulled on the rope, but nothing happened. He pulled again. Oh, what's she been eating? He muttered, she weighs a ton. He pulled once more, but still nothing happened. Percy frowned. All right, he said, let's see what we can do together. Down in the well, the little rabbit was beginning to get used to the darkness. As she gazed around, she noticed that there was a small opening in the wall of the well. Oh, I wonder where that leads to, she said. At the top of the well, the rescuers lined up behind Percy, ready to pull on the rope. Ready, shouted Percy. Heave! Something in the well moved. Keep going, said Percy. She's coming. The rescuers pulled and pulled. They grunted and groaned and quacked and squeaked. Up came the rope. But as it reached the top, the rescuers got a terrible surprise. There was no little rabbit at the end of the rope. All they had pulled up from the well was a great big log. Well, I'm blessed, said Percy. What's happened to her? She's turned into a log, said the fox. She's at the bottom of the well, said the squirrels. Oh, she's lost forever, wailed the rabbits. Oh, no, I 
I'm not, said a little voice behind them. I'm here. Everyone looked round in amazement. There, at the back of the line of rescuers, was the little rabbit. I thought I'd help you, she said. What are we all doing? Uh, Percy and the animals began to laugh. They laughed and laughed until they couldn't stand up. But how did you manage to get out? asked Percy at last. Oh, it was easy, she said. I found a secret passage. It comes out just over there. Well, I never, said Percy. Well, well, well. Which reminds me, he said. I must make a new cover for that old well. I'll do it tomorrow, said Percy, as he led the way back towards their picnic. After all, he said, today is my day off. The end.